but he who cannot reveal himself cannot love. And he who cannot love is the most unhappy man of all. Thank you for being with me once again on Hot 96 Breakfast. I'll be with you tomorrow with all of the freshest electronic dance music. Thank you. During that last break, which was ostensibly supposed to be about roadworks, you name dropped three 19th century Scandinavian existentialists. The autocentric society does fill me with fear and trembling. Your timing is also a problem. We want to keep these segments at around three minutes. Or am I going too long? The interview with David Guetta went for three quarters of an hour. Well, didn't it? It just flew by, didn't it? I mean, he was very engaging, was he? It was hard to tell because the entire interview was conducted in French. And neither I nor anyone within range of our radio tower is conversant in French. And I just feel it, it would be beneficial for listener engagement. Were said broadcast in a language that said listener were conversant. I take your poire. I'd like this show to be a little more relatable. Relatable to who? The people. But which people? The people. I mean, I'm a person and I find this very relatable. You are a person. And yet, you have precious little in common with the people. Well, are you the people? No. No. I drive a Mercedes. Do the people not drive Mercedes? No, the people drive Honda, Nissan, Great Wall, Suzuki, Kia. What about Volkswagen? Well, it is the wagon of the Volk. But uh, no. Not, well, in this country, it's a line ball. Okay, so you want to stay away from thinking about that. You want to think more, you know, Mitsubishi. That's where we are. We want the people. Definite article. The people. As in the people versus OJ Simpson. As in the people's democratic republic of the people. But I drive a Toyota. Oh, that's very good. That's extremely the, the people. people. That's actually the point of the entire Toyota Corporation is to be the, the people. people. No frills. Nothing special. No safety features that you wouldn't find in other cars. No little cameras. No cream leather interior. No mahogany dash. Just the, the people. people. What else is the people? Kmart. Commercial television. Big screen television. Tabloids hating your job. A mortgage. A landlord. Dog ownership having been on a Contiki tour, disliking politicians but not knowing their names, agnosticism, football, beer, wine, euthanasia, having read The Great Gatsby in high school, sex in the city, Christmas. It's something unpredictable, but in the end it's right. I hope you had the time of your life. It's having a cheeky punt when you're out with the boys. It's having a cheeky cigarette when you're out with the boys. It's losing a mate to cancer. It's losing a mate to suicide. Milk chocolate. Friday knockoffs. Saturday brunch. Sunday session. And here's a neat little meta-contextual example to tie it all together. The people wouldn't understand a f***ing word of this conversation. Well, I don't think I know any people like the people you're describing. <laughs> of course you don't. They don't exist. Get out of your head that the people are people. Because people are very interesting. They sing in choir. They go to Spain. They can speak Ugandan. They read poetry while they work at a toll booth. They start small businesses with their ex-wives selling unusual flavors of ice cream at a farmer's market. 
They give up playing the saxophone to become lawyers so they can support their families, but they still listen to jazz on the long drives across to municipal court. People have dark nights of the soul. People grapple with angels. They have thoughts and experiences and nuance. But the people... The people is a teeming mass of anonymous drone flesh. It's an homogenous clump, goo, of lowest common denominators. It is 1,000 episodes of the project, My Kitchen Rules, Master Chef, 60 Minutes, Embarrassing Bodies, The Bachelor, and Love Island playing simultaneously through a haze of marijuana smoke. And you've got to be relatable to it. Well, how do you know what it likes? It likes what we tell it to like. Who's we? An international class of elite professionals. You can just tell the people what to like? Yes. Most of the time. You've been hurt before, haven't you? You've gotten it wrong. You don't have it quite figured out, do you? Look, it very rarely doesn't work. Tell me, when have you failed? Rita Ora. We tried extraordinarily hard to make Rita Ora famous and to get people to like her, but it was a massive failure. But I know Rita Ora. She's a singer. Name one Rita Ora song. I can't do it. Nobody can. But again, usually it works and it works fine. We tell the people what to like and they like it. This is wrong. Why? It's dishonest. It's not real. It's not good for us. It's not good for the audience. It's not good for the soul. It is the only way. Do you not know that there comes a midnight hour when everyone must throw off his mask? Do you really believe that life will allow itself to be mocked? Do you think you can slip away a little before midnight to avoid this? Or are you not terrified by it? I have seen men in real life who so long deceived others that at last their true nature could not reveal itself. I have seen men who played hide and seek so long that at last, in madness, they disgustingly obtruded to others their secret thoughts, which hitherto they had proudly concealed. Or can you think of anything more frightful than that it might end with your nature being resolved into a multiplicity? Truly, you shouldn't jest with that which is both serious and dreadful. In every man, there exists something that prevents him from becoming perfectly transparent to himself. That you really might become like many, become like those unhappy demoniacs, a legion. And thus would have lost the innermost and holiest thing of all in a man. The unifying power of personality. And this may be the case in so high a degree. He may be so inexplicably woven into relationships of life, which extend far beyond himself, that he almost cannot reveal himself. But he who cannot reveal himself cannot love. And he who cannot love is the most unhappy man of all. You know, I didn't find that to be a compelling monologue for the roadworks discussion, and I don't find it to be a compelling monologue now.